Back to Earth with a bump, pregnant Kate wraps up in Dolce and Gabbana as she and William visit a school in Oslo after last night's glittering gala dinner, and the jet-setting couple look very loved up. After the glitz and glamour of last night's gala dinner, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were back to reality with a bump as they visited a secondary school in Oslo. William and Kate, who are on the final day of their royal tour of Sweden and Norway, travel to Hartvignesen School, which was the location for the hugely successful Norwegian television show Scam. The Duchess, who is seven months pregnant with her third child, wrapped up in a plum-colored double-breasted Dolce and Gabbana coat for her first engagement of the day, she donned a colorful floral dress underneath, which is believed to be a $295, £207, number by Norwegian label by Timo, no doubt a subtle nod to her hosts. Last night, Kay chained her inner Greek goddess in a sweeping Alexander McQueen gown for an opulent banquet at Oslo's royal palace hosted by Norway's King Harald V and Queen Sonia. After arriving at this heart of Ignison morning, the Duchess spent time chatting to locals, telling one teenager his English was very good after he complimented her on the color of her coat, and wishing others good luck with their upcoming exams. Accompanied by their hosts, Crown Prince Hacken and Crown Princess Metamore, who arrived separately, the couple met the stars and producers of Scam including Josephine Pedersen and Iman Meskindi to hear more about the series. They also learned about the role played by social media in teenagers' lives, something which is certain to be of interest to the couple who have put the issue of mental health as a cornerstone of their public work. Their penultimate engagement today marks the end of an action-packed few days for William and Kate, who have been hosted by Sweden's Crown Princess Victoria and Prince Daniel, and Norway's Crown Prince Hakon and Crown Princess Metamart. After a private lunch at Hakon and Metamart's official residence, Squagum Estate, on Friday afternoon they will watch a skiing event at drive and before flying home to London. They are said to take a short tour of the Holman Cullen Ski Museum before ascending to the top of Ski Jump to talk with and observe junior ski jumpers from Norway's national team, before moving to the Royal Box to observe the jumpers landing. The Duke and Duchess will then attend an event organized by the Norwegian Ski Federation, where they will see a group of local nursery children taking part in an afternoon ski school session on the slopes. The couple will join children taking part in a number of outdoors activities, from experiencing sunny tents, to roasting sausages on an open fire. They will also speak to some of the ski instructors that deliver sessions throughout the year to keep children active and engaged with sport as well as visit the adjoining nursery. Their engagement this morning comes after Pregnant Gate, 36, stole the show in a blush pink gown by Alexander McQueen featuring crystal flower embellishment on the neckline, adding extra glamour with jaw-dropping diamond earrings and the bracelet the Queen wore on her wedding day. Kate and William traveled to Oslo earlier on Thursday and spent the evening enjoying an official dinner with their Norwegian counterparts, Crown Prince Hatton and his wife Metamart. Ahead of the glittering event, they posed for a photo with King Harald V and Queen Sylvia and were reunited with Hatton and Metamart after spending the afternoon together at a technology event. They were also joined by Hacken's sister, Princess Martha Louise, who opted for a black halter neck gown with tiered ruffles, and Princess Astrid, the older sister of King Harald V. William's trip this week comes exactly 34 years after his mother, Princess Diana, was hosted by King Harold V and Queen Sonia on a two-day solo visit to the country in 1984. After their whirlwind visit to Sweden, the royals kicked off two days in Norway this afternoon with luncheon at Oslo's royal palace, followed by a walkabout in the palace grounds with the royal family. The Duchess braved the icy Nordic conditions in vertiginous seals and a slate blue Catherine Walker coat as she and William were greeted by Hacken and Metamart on a red car patrolled out across the tarmac at Gardermoen Airport. In the palace, the two families exchanged gifts, with Kate and William providing their hosts with a signed portrait, while the Norwegian king and queen gave them books, an ornamental bowl, a framed portrait, and a set of cozy woolly jumpers. Following lunch, the couple were given a tour of the Princess Ingrid Alexandra Sculpture Park within the Palace Gardens, Slots Parken, which opened last year to mark the 25th anniversary of 80-year-old King Harold V's reign and is named after the young princess. Huge crowds came out to catch a glimpse of the royals, who handed bunches of tulips to Kate and children's books to William, while many begged the Duchess for a selfie. After lunch on Thursday, Kate and William met a number of Norwegian and UK companies based at Oslo's first co-working space, Mesh, to hear about how some startups are tackling issues such as the environment and mental health and well-being. On Wednesday night, Kate wrapped up her last evening in Stockholm in style, donning a blue velvet dress from her den for an event at Stockholm's Photographist Gallery, which boasts glittering views over the city at night. In a speech at the event to celebrate Swedish culture the Duke of Cambridge said he and Kate have been impressed by the inspiring Swedish lifestyle that encourages children to play outdoors, whatever the weather.
William and Kate's visit will give them a taste of the Scandinavian way of life according to Kensington Palace. They are keen to see how people of all generations battle the elements to make the most of their surroundings. In a statement ahead of their visit, Kensington Palace said, The Duke and Duchess are keen to experience a taste of the Scandinavian way of life for themselves, and to see how people of all generations battle the elements to make the most of their surroundings, whether ice skating in Stockholm's local parks, or skiing off east in the hills that surround Oslo. The UK's links with each country are extensive, and their royal highnesses are looking forward to building a lasting friendship with the people of both Sweden and Norway.